So this is a tri-filler um, Bedini oscillator. I'm just using a RCA 3055 transistor. Um, there's ones that work better with even better effects, but I'm just using this right now. So anyway, uh, the input is a 33,000 microfarad cap, 60 volt cap, and uh, I have these diodes on here like that bridge, but I'm only putting one wire to it because I have a circuit that I'm charging it up with one wire. And same with this output cap. Um, I'm also charging that with one wire too before I run the test. The reason I'm charging both with single wire is because I'm conditioning the caps. I mean you can charge you can condition the batteries if you want for charging and everything and depending on how you charge the batteries if it is single wire and by other methods you can damage the batteries. Well sometimes that kind of effect is uh, beneficial to a cap because you can condition capacitors to take a radiant charge where each time they charge quicker and quicker. So anyway, that's the input cap. This is a cap taking the recovery from the third wire and the output cap is going back to the front cap. So anyway, uh, the charge on that front cap right there is 0.83 volts. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just get the circuit going to Okay, so that's the front cap, and even though you saw the voltage go up, it does start climbing faster and faster. Okay, so anyway, the point of it is, um, what I'm going to do is let this run, let this oscillator um, self-oscillate, and it's going to be very low voltage, and if you hook, uh, if you try to read any current, leaving that input cap, that, well, also I have this wire right here coming from a, a galvanized steel rod in the back, and the and I'm just using this spool of wire right here because that's what I got and the output of this wire right here I'm putting to the ground on my output cap okay and so for first of all I'm just going to disconnect it right there so you can see some interesting effects now what I'm going to do is um, okay the front cap 0.86 volts now what I'm going to do is Turn off that radiant charger there. Okay, and I'm going to turn on the scope here. And the scope, I have it grounded to negative in the probe I just have on the collector right there. And it doesn't matter what the scope settings and everything else are, it's just to show that it is running. Okay, and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slap the magnet on top of the battery to jump start it. And it helps to have the power wire hooked up. Okay, so right now that's running and you can see that the input voltage is going down. So obviously it's going to take some to run and this is uh, this is it oscillating right now. Now what you can see is that even though that voltage is dropping right there, I'm going to take this ground rod wire, hook it to the negative of the output battery and I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait until you look at the voltage there and what I'm going to do is connect it and the front side battery will slow down or the front side input will slow down and will actually start climbing. Let's see, might be disconnected outside. Okay, you see how that's rapidly dropping? And as soon as I connect it, it slows it down. 0.674 volts, 673. Okay, it's oscillating with no current. Let's see, I'm going to disconnect that ground wire just so it keeps dropping and dropping.
because actually it will stop and it will reverse. You have to entrain the uh, ether through the ground and, and through the air and everything. 644, 43, 42. That's how many volts are sitting on that. Now is that transistor supposed to be running if the input source is less than a volt? I'm just going to let it keep going. Still going. And that back cap's feeding back to the front. Isolated. Okay, I just hooked the ground wire. Now you can see that the front, that right there, is going up. Okay. And it has to be low enough voltage to be able to do that. But basically what you're seeing is self-sustaining uh, oscillator running on pure ether. Just pure radiant. That's it. And yeah, that is really the voltage on the input cap here. Okay, ground wire is connected to the output right there. And so anyway, this is just a demo. You're not going to run your house on this yet. This is just a demo. So anyway, um, hope that sparks some uh, imagination on what's going on.